welcome to this week's World Cup Vibes. We travelled 110 kilometres from London to Southampton as we continue with our journey with the Proteas as they continue their campaign at the ICC Cricket World Cup. Now, before we show you the history and the beauty that Southampton has to offer, we thought we'll take a quick ferry ride to one of the areas renowned for its festivals as well as hosting some of the world's most prestigious yacht races. It's also where you find the most amount of sunshine in the UK. The history of the Titanic and the history of Southampton are interwoven and at the Sea City Museum it pays homage to that as well as Southampton's relationship with the sea. This was opened 100 years to the minute of the Titanic setting sail and is definitely a must-see. In 1912, there was a, uh, a great disaster in the Atlantic when the Titanic struck an iceberg before it got to Newfoundland. And uh, 100 years later, it was decided to build this museum. It was built exactly 100 years to the day on the 10th of April uh, 2012. And there used to be here a, a court, a prison and a police station. Uh, nowadays, it's been changed into uh, the Titanic Museum, uh, the Titanic uh, exhibition uh, with the Titanic story. Uh, the whole place is called the Sea City Museum. Although Titanic was built in Belfast Island and registered in Liverpool, her maiden voyage for the transatlantic crossing that was destined for New York began in Southampton. For this reason, most of the staff aboard the Titanic when it set sail on the 10th of April was from the city. Well, as you know from the red dots, there's one room which shows the red dots where all the people were killed and on almost every street there was somebody who died on the Titanic. Now that is really a, a disaster of major proportions and Southampton, it was, it was probably the saddest story in their history because a lot of the people obviously were from this city, especially crew members. Now, um, we kind of take that to heart with this, with this exhibition, we talk about the crew members, we talk about uh, a lot of the people that were involved, and it is, it's the people's story that we're really telling here. So it's a very sad story, and that's why it is so important to Southampton's history. Given its strategic location, Southampton has long been one of Britain's largest and most popular departure points for ocean cruises, and has thus been dubbed the home of ocean cruising. Many of the world's largest cruise ships are regularly in Southampton waters, and this affords venues like the Sea City Museum the chance to bring tourists to their educational and highly informative exhibits. On a Monday and on other days sometimes, we go down to the terminals, bring people in off the large cruisers, and we tell them all about Southampton, about the Titanic story, the, the great disaster. We tell them about the art gallery and also Tudor House. And Southampton is a place that people really, if they knew about it, more people would come and see because it is, it's a great city. It's a city that people want to know more about it. Obviously, the Titanic story is a major part because it's such a, uh, a kind of important an integral part of Southampton's history and um, a lot of people they are very interested in how the ship sank and all the factors that led up to its sinking because it was like the great storm it was several factors that came together so a lot of people from all over the world come and want to know that story. 